In this A-level IB biology video, we're going to be looking at the different types of fatty acids. Now, fatty acids vary in terms of the number of carbon atoms present in their hydrocarbon chains and the various bondings of those carbon atoms to each other and to hydrogens. Now, broadly speaking, there are two types of fatty acids, saturated versus unsaturated. And hopefully you met this at IGCSE, GCSE chemistry, it's all to do with the carbon bonds. When they're saturated, all the carbon bonds are single. When they're unsaturated, you have a double bond between your carbon atoms. And that's the fundamental difference. Now, in terms of understanding how that actually links, well, saturated. If you have a saturated solution, such as a salt solution, you can't add any more salt to it. So saturated in relation to fatty acids is basically saying that you can't increase the number of hydrogen atoms. And that makes sense, because if I just completed this molecule, for example, not that this is a fatty acid, this is actually ethane. But look, you can't add any more hydrogens to that. However, if I was to complete this diagram on the right, because remember, each carbon atom forms four bonds, each hydrogen atom forms one bond. This is obviously ethene, but its molecular formula is C2H4 versus ethane, C2H6. So you can see that ethane here is saturated with hydrogens. It has six of them, whereas ethene is unsaturated. It only has four of them. But to go back to our basic definition of saturated versus unsaturated, it is literally single carbon bonds in saturated substances and a double carbon bond in unsaturated substances. Now, unsaturated fatty acids, there are various different ones, and that all depends on how many carbon-carbon double bonds they have. So a monounsaturated fatty acid, as the name suggests, contains only one carbon-carbon double bond. A polyunsaturated, poly meaning many, means that there's a minimum of two carbon-carbon double bonds, but it could be many more than that. Let's just draw a quick diagram of an unsaturated fatty acid. And this one's going to be a monounsaturated fatty acid, so it's only going to contain one carbon-carbon double bond. So let's start there. It has a carboxyl end, the COOH. And make sure you watch my video on basically biochemistry for biologists if you don't understand why I'm drawing each of the carbons as having four bonds and each of the hydrogens as having one bond and each of the oxygens as having two bonds. And this is an unsaturated fatty acid. The last thing we need to touch on is cis and trans isomerism. Now remember that an isomer is a compound or molecule with the same molecular formula but different structural formula. So let's again touch on chemistry to actually represent this. Now here I've drawn two isomers, their molecular formula we can count it up. One, two, three, four. So that's C4. Let's count up the H's now. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's C4H8. Let's do the same on this side. One, two, three, four carbons. So C4. One, four, five, eight, H eight. So they're both C four H eight. Now to understand cis and trans isomerism, let's have a look at the Latin. Well, cis means this side of, and trans means the other side of. And so, in the context of science. If we have a look at cis, it means this side of. It means that both the functional groups, so that is to say the special parts of the molecule, 
must exist on the same side. And yes, that's what's going on here and here. Both the functional groups are on the same side, so we know that this is the cis isomer. However, in the second isomer, they're on opposite sides to each other. So they're trans, the other side of. So the second isomer is a trans isomer. So relating that back to biology and fatty acids in particular, let's get ourselves some more room. We're going to be looking at the position of those hydrogen atoms. So here are two isomers. According to our definition of cis, it means the functional groups are this side of, so the same side as. So the first one is a cis isomer. And according to our definition of trans, the functional groups, the hydrogen bonds, must be on opposite sides to each other. So this is therefore a trans isomer. And now we'll write their definitions underneath. So this first diagram is cis unsaturated. We can say here that the hydrogen atoms are bonded to carbon atoms on the same side of the double bond. Whereas our trans unsaturated fatty acid the hydrogen atoms are bonded to carbon atoms on opposite sides of the double bond.